Right. Well, in that case, that I'm going to go to this one. Now, you may think that it doesn't look that great for uncovering a map, but there is actually a few things that are good here. First of all, um, it's uncovering quite a, quite a chunk of the map, I'd say. Um, actually, come to think of it, I should probably... Actually, it'll probably be really good, because if you look at it, when we get back to it, I'll open up the map for you. Um, if you look, sort of thing, um, as opposed to listen to it, you know, it's it's always easy to mistake your eyes and your ears, especially if you're a gnome. What? I don't know. Um, but if you look on the map, is that there's a sort of, you know the boundary going to the great drop-off? Uh, right here. Well, if you uncover all of that boundary, then you uncover all of the map from C to A. You uncover all of C to A or whatever. So we, so this is basically a lot of it. If we swim along the edge, which we're gonna do. Um, although it is kind of disheartening to sort of swim for like two minutes and then only have slightly covered a bit of map. But you know, it's it's what you have to do sometimes. But yeah, no, if we do that, that's really going to help us in 60% um, of the map opening. Um, yeah, the reason this is a good place is because it's unlocking more of the map. There's a treasure to be found. I'm not sure if it unlocks anything, but you know, it might. It probably doesn't, but it might. And, you know, it's always, it's never a problem to just find treasure randomly there. Um, and... What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and there's something I want to look for in Marija Toll. And if you look on the map, we can probably just get to it from here. In fact, actually, because it's in the orange area. So, you know, if we go into the orange area, we can probably get to Marija Toll. So that's good. Again, swimming out into barely visible waters. Not my favourite. In fact, we might have to go back a bit, so that we're swimming a bit further out in the map watch magic. Although, mm -mm, I don't like the ambiguity of the map, to be fair. It's a bit annoying, because you only have to step into a small portion of the map, but because the map, each square of the map is like cut into quarters, so you only have to step into those quarters, each of those quarters, but of course I don't quite know which is the boundary of the quarters. So, you know, it's a bit annoying. Yes, I get the sea, the point that the sea beyond this point is dangerous. Just let me swim along the boundary, then. Sheesh. Oh! Random invisibility. What are you? Oh, my, you're one ugly boy, aren't you? I'm going to call you Frank. Frank the Ugmo. The rippled rock skipper. Yes, you are rather ugly, aren't you, Frank? <whistles> okay, I think that was horribly out of tune. But I can't quite remember. I'm not good at whistling in tune. I think I'm pretty good at singing in tune, just about. But, I mean, I may obviously be wrong. In which case, I'm very truly sorry. Um, no, I'm not good at whistling in tune. I mean... I'm I'm good at sort of getting my whistle to around the point that it's right, but then sometimes my whistle just goes blah, 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 and all it just blasts all over the place. Um, I recommend you rewind a few times to the point where I made that weird noise because I'm never going to be able to recreate that noise, and it was pretty funny. Mm, I appreciated the humor behind the odd, odd noise or an odd noise or two. Um, <laughs> Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, more dangerous swimming. Deserves a dangerous night. Yeah, I don't think, I think that was the original idea for how that song would go, but then they decided against it. Whoever they are, I can't remember what band sung it. Sung it? Sang it. Sing it. Oh, bloody hell, it's like dive or swim again, or whatever it was. Swam. I think it's swam, isn't the end, isn't it? Yeah. I remember one person got quite angry about it in one of the comments. I'm truly sorry, whoever you were. 
Right, I think we can safely say we've swum around quite a bit of the boundary there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, they're all going to disappear, but of course they disappear into this bit, this giant barrel sponge, so we can look at them! They're three-spot Duskalus, you're boring. And you are a three-spot Duskalus young. Ah! Apparently I hadn't found all the information on three-spot Duskalus's Duskali yet. So now that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Blib, 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 blib. Yes, I've already seen you, I think. You're a... something. Royal angelfish. Yay, aren't you rubbish. Do, do, batty. Ya, bloody, sublima. Okay, I'm probably close. Okay, I think we can start going back now. Um, now. You've got to do some random swimming around the place. I'm very sorry, these parts are going to be really insanely boring, so I'm probably going to do some editing. Um, and then again, there's going to be huge amounts, but then of course, otherwise there will be huge amounts of videos, so I'm currently debating with myself. Hmm. I don't know yet. Oh well, we'll just have to see in the end. Probably gonna cut some out actually because you know this. Ah! Ah! This is a very rare sight a group of Commerson's dolphins. This species has recently been seen in these waters. They are known worldwide for their scarcity. 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 This is a rare opportunity to get to know them. You might even be able to make one your partner. Hooray! We found another type of dolphin! And I don't know where. <laughs> it just sort of showed me a cutscene of dolphins. But it didn't show me whereabouts they are. Ah, there they are. Whoa! Calm down there, Skippy! What's your name? You're a Commerson's dolphin, I know, but just... There we go. Right. Um, we went around there. La 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 la. Oh, look at me! I'm swimming! 